Yo, let me tell you something about the Jets. A.K.A. just in the season. I mean, we're talking about week two. And we already looking disgusted. For any, you know, real fan of the Jets, man. I'm talking about season ticket holders, people that went to New Jersey to see these guys play their ass off. Uh, Just to see them get blown out. To see the game. Like my man, Fire Marshal. You know what I mean? Ed, man. I feel your pain, bro. If I was in New York and I was spending all that kind of money just to see these motherfuckers just not know how to play a down, I feel your pain, bro. I'm a true fire marshal nigga, man. I I feel I I'm a I'm a very passionate Jets fan. I've been a Jets fan since day one and. Unfortunately, my heart got locked in, but that's loyal by default. I can't blame myself. That's who I am. I'm a riot with the ship falling or sinking. But, dude, this shit sucks. I mean, fuck, man. We are, we are in week two. And we don't even want to see the rest of the season, man. Because we got owners that don't know a goddamn thing about football. Know how to spend their money the right way, man. What they need to do is sell the team, bruh. Get this shit rolling so we can start our new chapter. As far as Jets fans, man. I feel like we're held captive. And how much love we put in on this game for the Jets, man. You know, you got Rich Eisen over here suffering. You know what I'm saying? You got my mans over there in the ESPN suffering, bro. Grainy. You got my man, uh, New York Jets Radio suffering. Damn, man. We all suffering over here, bro. All of us Jets fans are suffering, man. The ones that want to be vocal about it are telling y'all that we are suffering. And I'm another motherfucker suffering with them, man. Like, God damn. Crush our hearts. That's what my my fucking shirt is representing right now. We're getting crushed, man. Every year. I mean, this is a fresh, brand new season without fans. So there can't be no momentum going on when we go to somebody else's stadium. Hence the reason why I thought we might have had at least a decent game in Buffalo. We're getting blown the fuck out. Looking like. Worse than any score that we did, 27 to 17, my ass. That shit should have been 40 something to 17. Fuck it. I'm serious, man. I'm tired of this shit, man. And I know we all tired of it, man. I mean, seriously, we should we should really hold this organization responsible for how fucking incompetent they are, bruh. Shit, man, I'm really trying to stop smoking cigarettes. But I'm going to go outside right now. And if y'all still stick to my video, I'm going to show you how sick and tired I am of this shit, man. It's crazy. It's crazy, bro. Hang in there with me a little longer. And um, I'm going to show y'all, man. My mama made that, by the way. May, may her soul rest in peace, man. Yeah, she made that for me, man. And she was like, son, I put all this time and effort in trying to make that just to see these boys with an L. And um, this is where I'm at right now in 2020, man. The Jets are as bad as the year has been. And no disrespect to those out there that's dealing with some seriousness, man. This is all about sports, so I'm not trying to, you know, delve into anything deeper than that. But I'm going to tell you this. This shit ain't good either. No. This is Saturday, and it's one day before the burial. 
at MetLife Stadium when San Francisco comes in and kicks our ass. It'd be a fucking... I mean, seriously. The only way the Jets will win is by Vegas letting people lose their money over something this serious, man. That means this goddamn game is rigged or something. I don't know. But I'm going to tell you like this. As a Jets fan, man, I am sick. I'm sick with them, bruh. And every real fan understands that you can't just shake the team, try to be another team fan when you got your heart indebted, embedded in it. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, man, since 1984, man, I've been a Jets fan for real. After Todd, man, I don't, I don't remember Todd, but uh, Kenny O'Brien, Freeman McNeil, Brad Baxter, you know what I'm saying? Al Toon, man. Those are my guys, man. They played. They put up a fight with Dan Marino and them, man. They put up a fight with Jim Kelly and them, Machine Gun Kelly and them, man. Thurman Thomas and them, man. We we still got our asses whooped, but we at least put up a fight, though, man. Big Joe Wall, what's up? We got a corny ass wannabe something that you wouldn't call a coach that should be thrown in the trash, dog. My trash is over there. He would have been thrown out a long time ago. But it starts with ownership. I'll never stop saying that until they sell the team because they don't have no sense, no common sense on what it takes to win football games, man, or to have a winning culture like Pittsburgh. And um, I'm going to call them trust fund babies, man. Because they don't know shit about it. But holla. Man, let me know what you think, man. This is this is Saturday. This is before the burial tomorrow. I'm not trying to be pessimistic, but I am a Jets fan. You have to respect that. And I'm going down with the ship. With my violin. <laughs> but I holla, man. Thank you for the love and support. Because we need a lot of that being Jets fans, man.